Hi everyone! Today we're going to talk about how to find the limit of a function that's squeezed between two other functions in an inequality. To complete this problem, we'll apply the limit to each part of the inequality and then simplify to find the limit. In this particular problem, we've been asked to find the limit as x approaches 4 of f of x if the following inequality is true, where f of x is greater than or equal to 4x minus 9 and less than or equal to x squared minus 4x plus 7. So the first important thing to know here about limits and inequalities is that if we want to take the limit as x goes to 4 of f of x and f of x is involved in an inequality like this, we need to take the limit as x goes to 4 of each piece of this inequality. So what we're really asking here is the limit as x approaches 4 of 4x minus 9 less than or equal to the limit as x approaches 4 of f of x less than or equal to the limit as x approaches 4 of x squared minus 4x plus 7. Basically the idea being that if we're going to apply this limit as x approaches 4 to f of x, we also have to apply it to the 4x minus 9 and the x squared minus 4x plus 7 because they're all twisted up in the same inequality. What you do to one piece of it, you have to do to each piece of it. That being said, this just becomes a basic limit substitution problem where we plug in the number we're approaching to each of our functions. So on the left hand side here with the 4x minus 9, we're just going to plug 4 in for x to get 4 times 4 minus 9. We'll leave this limit as x approaches 4 of f of x because that whole piece right there is what we're trying to solve for. And then we'll call that less than or equal to, and again here we'll plug in 4 for x, so we'll get 4 squared minus 4 times 4 plus 7. And now we can simplify the left and right hand sides. We'll get 16 minus 9, which gives us 7. We'll call that less than or equal to the limit as x approaches 4 of f of x. And we'll say that that's less than or equal to here we'll have 16 minus 16 plus 7, and obviously we'll get these two to cancel, so it'll be less than or equal to 7. And what we've gotten to now is an interesting application of the squeeze theorem in the sense that, if you'll recall from studying squeeze theorem, if what we have here in the middle has to be at the same time greater than or equal to 7 and less than or equal to 7, then the only possible value for this middle part here is also 7, because anything greater than that would not satisfy the right-hand side, and anything less than that would not satisfy the left-hand side. So we know that the limit as x approaches 4 of f of x has to equal 7. In an inequality like this, that's how we solve for the limit of f of x. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, like this video down below and subscribe to be notified of future videos.